Man buys a second-hand baby crib then immediately returns it when he sees what's inside. Buying second-hand stuff is fun. It's crazy how you can find true treasures without spending a ton of money. Plus, the concept of reusing things is beneficial for the environment. However, there is always the risk of buying an item with flaws or imperfections. But that's the beauty of secondhand, everything you get is unique and cannot be found anywhere else. That's exactly what this man had in mind, all he wanted was to buy a unique crib for his granddaughter. As soon as he found the one and brought it home, he looked at the crib better. And that's when his blood ran cold. Ricky is a lovely man. He dedicated his life to his children, everything he did was for making their lives easier and happier. Right when his children announced that he was going to be a grandpa, Ricky lost it. He then started getting gifts to his children, including that one second-hand crib he bought. Little did he know that his purchase was about to turn into a nightmare. The seller's name was Valerie Smith. This woman put up for sale this crib, and that was something she wasn't happy or proud about. But why was that? Why did she have this odd behavior? Well, that woman's dark past explains a lot. Valerie was the happiest when she found out she was pregnant. A child was about to lighten up her life after her horrible divorce. All she wanted was to have this precious child in her hands. Unfortunately, this new chapter in her life got a terrifying twist. About a year after finding out she was pregnant, Valerie decided to have a garage clear-out. Not only did she want to clean her garage, but also try to sell anything she could. As she was shorting her things out, something horrifying caught her eye. It was a crib. She got it in her hands with tears in her eyes and put it for sale online. However, her post did not include the dark truth about this crib. The young woman was familiar with selling and buying second-hand stuff, so she knew exactly what she had to do to sell this crib. She posted a good picture online and advertised it a lot. And the crib got sold in less than a month. Soon, she realized her huge mistake. Ricky lived just a few blocks away from Valerie, so he saw her post about the crib. He was very happy to find this post because he was searching for a crib exactly like that one. His wife Laureen also checked it out and knew it was the one for their granddaughter. Little did he know that this crib was not what it looked like. At first, the crib looked just fine. In fact, it looked like a new one. It was in great condition, it was clean and big enough. Ricky was so happy to find it in such a good bargain. It turned out, he was completely wrong the whole time. Both Ricky and his wife Laureen were confident that this crib was the one. They truly believed that this would be a great purchase, so they contacted Valerie. Valerie was surprised and invited Ricky and Laureen to her house. She wanted to get rid of this crib as soon as possible. But why was that? What was so wrong with it? Well, the truth is shocking. When the old couple arrived at Valerie's, they noticed that the young woman was a bit off and Ricky could see it. She avoided eye contact, and she didn't talk much. Ricky and Laureen could tell that she was acting weird, but they didn't know her, so they initiated to just get the crib and leave. Something was very wrong. Ricky and Laureen knew that there was something wrong with that lady. But the crib still everything they wanted so they decided to forget about Valerie. As soon as they got home, Laureen took a greater look at the crib, and that's when she started screaming out of horror. Laureen had never screamed so loudly in her life ever before. And Ricky was terrified to hear his loved one go out of her mind. He had to see himself what was inside the crib that made Laureen lose it. He got closer to the crib and took a better look. He immediately got that crib and headed back to Valerie's with tears in his eyes. Ricky deserved some explanation. He headed to Valerie's house just a few hours after she had sold the crib to him. She opened the door and couldn't believe her eyes. Why was he back in her house? What was happening? Did they find out the truth? Well, this conversation was intense. All that Ricky wanted was to know the truth. Valerie let him get into her house once again, and he started the questions. Ricky's first question was enough to make Valerie burst into tears. What's your baby's name, he asked. Valerie had to sit down, she didn't feel well. But she had to reveal the truth. 
It was tough for Valerie to reveal her dark past to these two strangers, but she owed them the truth. So here is what really happened, when Valerie got pregnant, she started to have those weird stomach and back pains. At first, she believed that these were common pregnancy symptoms, but that was not the case. Valerie had these symptoms for several weeks. At that point, she knew that it wasn't normal. Something was wrong, and she had to find out. Then, Valerie decided to visit her doctor. She just wished that everything was fine. She did a full checkup and waited for the results. While waiting, she was literally shaking. Everything's going to be alright, she said. But she was wrong. She had an ultrasound and the results were about to come out. Valerie was feeling so sick, and she couldn't help it but cry. And she was all alone. She was divorced, her friends were out of town, and her parents didn't know. The poor woman was in a horrible condition when the doctor came and broke her even more. Valerie had a massive lump in her throat. Doctors theorized that the umbilical cord had become compressed in the womb, making it impossible for nutrients and oxygen to make it to the fetus. She had just lost her baby. Her world just tore apart in a few seconds. Losing a child is one of the most difficult feelings in the world. Valerie had relied to the coming of this child in order to be happy again. And that was not going to happen. Her mental breakdown lasted for months. But after she got her life together, she had one last thing to do. It was extremely hard for Valerie to go around the house and see all the nursery stuff she had bought for her little baby. She had to get rid of them, otherwise she would never be able to move on from this situation. She didn't want to throw all that new stuff though. So, she temporarily moved them into her garage. But that was not enough. Even though Valerie was heartbroken, she was an active woman. And this included her going to her garage often, which was painful because she would get to see all that nursery stuff she wanted to get rid of. At that point, she realized that she had to do it, she had to throw away everything. Valerie decided to sell the baby stuff instead of throwing it away. She was into thrifting and buying second-hand things, so she thought that this would be a great idea. Little did she know that she would cause such horror to a poor old couple. Ricky and Laureen were shocked by Valerie's reveal. They didn't expect that plot twist in her story. R.I.P. Noah 2019-2020, these words were written inside the crib they knew that there was something odd about her, but the reality was out of their imagination. Both Ricky and Laureen were devastated. They could feel Valerie's pain, and they felt horrible for going back to her house and remind her of the loss she had. After what they got through, the old couple decided to make up for their mistake. And what they did brought Valerie to tears. Ricky have always loved crafts and DIYs. This was his time to shine, he wanted to transform this crib with its dark past into something fresh and new. He believed that this gift would help Valerie to move on and realize that life continues. The next day, he got down to work. As a father, Ricky could feel Valerie's pain. Valerie was the age of Ricky's children, and he thought that he could be his daughter. He then decided to transform the old crib into a brand new bench. And Ricky knew exactly why this was the perfect idea. Ricky had this idea that the new bench would be more like a memorial for Noah. This way, Valerie could use the bench and remember Noah at the same time. That was a great idea and Ricky was proud that he would help a young lady who went through this nightmare all by herself. This kind man wanted to create the perfect bench for Valerie. Even though it was ready, he wanted to add up some last touches so that it would be perfect. He was nervous and didn't want to disappoint Valerie. The bench was ready and Ricky decided to visit Valerie one last time. But he didn't expect this reaction. As soon as Valerie saw the bench, she burst into tears. She didn't believe that a stranger would spend all this time to create something for her. It was beautiful. She even offered him money but, of course, he didn't take it. It's just nice to be able to do something for someone, he said. Now, the bench has come to symbolize how a random act of kindness can turn a painfully unused crib into something comforting. Valerie was now ready to start a new chapter in her life. It's amazing, and there are good people out there, Valerie Smith said. After all the bad things she had been through, an old man showed up in her life and changed everything.
Kindness can really change someone's life.